what's up guys welcome back uh, been busy for a while with multiple projects but i want to make a um, video that was requested long time ago so i'm going to uh, recreate a very fast hair fiber mesh and important and thread this max and apply hair and fur so as you can saw on my last video I've done this hair for this American Indian so I'm going to use this head to make another one so let's go to the body and close all objects now I kinda need only the head so let's duplicate this one geometry roll subdivision and let's select this one okay the hair problem in fiber mesh can be approached in multiple ways so I'm going to work on just one for now and I was thinking to make a rest uh, hair <laughs> because I want to make it a short video this time I'm working on another video on fiber mesh that will take longer time and better explaining so let's make a rasta hair I do not need for now let's delete our hair and delete hidden uh, as layers okay let's bake all well, oh, okay, I need to unhide, bake all, geometry, delete hidden. Okay. The way I want to build is to separate some mesh. So I'm going to press Ctrl Shift and select lesser. I still have symmetries so by ctrl shift alt let's hide the mesh that we do not want to see okay let's unhide it and let's hide this too perfect now let's press ctrl w and we have our different polygon but let's create more different one so let's ctrl shift alt hide this one ctrl w and do this to every two Okay, now let's unhide everything. Why well, it's not okay? So as you can see, we have the hair where we want Rasta. I think I am too far. So let's oops, let's hide this one and let's hide this one. Control W. So we make one mesh. Now let's. Let's add the mask control uh, like this. And let's create our fiber mesh. Fiber mesh open. Loop, sorry. Fiber fiber. We have a pretty great palette of fibers, so let's go close to here, this one. okay um, next step is to go to modifier there are so many tools in here that I didn't have the chance to work with everyone because I didn't give my interest why is that because usually I make the base mesh in 
ZBrush and I'm building up the hair using 3 ds Max Hair and Fur or Ornatics from Ifair. So let's go to length for first. So we need it smaller, too small. And now let's find gravity, gravity profile. Uh, we need it inverse like this. We need to add more segments so we can have details to work with. So let's go and add 45 like this. Now also we can play with coverage. We do not really want to much coverage. Let's go to preview settings. No, that's good. Modifier. And let's play with length and max fibers. Scale root. Scale tip. I think that for what I need is pretty enough. As I said, I can, you can work a lot as I did with uh, the big hair, but I do not need that. I just need a pretty pace for my 3 ds Max. So I'm BPRing right now to see how it is look. Of course, if you the renders in ZBrush are awesome. So if you want to work more with Fiber Mesh in ZBrush to add the final render, go for it. But for me, this video is not my interest so as I said I'm going to work on another video where I explain more let's keep it like this and let's accept we want to have fast preview yes why I did the, the polygroups because now we have the hair in here and we can go to B M move and let's select brush auto masking and we can slide this one mask by polygroups. So now if we pick one you can see we move only one group so we can play around with this one. Okay, of course you, if you want to play more you can go to B and press G on the keyboard and you have all the groom brushes that you can play uh, with fiber mesh. Also I'm going to talk about this one on the next video. We're going to focus on working on the fiber mesh and small fiber mesh and 3ds max so now we let's say that this is the way we want to make it and we want to export it in 3ds max so we have our fiber mesh selected and going to go to fiber mesh and export curves but let's go to preview settings because this is the number that we're going to export uh, as obj so let's reduce it because we do not want uh, so many 
even less let's go to 8 okay let's keep it like this and now let's export curves you already said that exporting with this current preview setting will result a thousand curves per experiment let's press ok desktop and uh, let's keep this name fiber mesh save and let's go to 3ds max also let's export our head we can unmask and press ctrl w to have one mesh press make it head press alt w to make it big and let's go and import oops sorry uh, okay now it's better import head import as a poly skip it close let's move the pivot in the middle now let's deselect our edges shade it let's go again to import and select fiber mesh for now open as you can see we have all the fiber mesh but we need it to as a single mesh do not uh, check import as edible poly but we're going to check shape and lines import okay now we have this spline as you can see we have it as splines in 3ds max to add um, hair and fur we have two choices let's use the force one that I re recommended let's go back to ZBrush let's control Z close this one and my ZBrush stopped let's control W and export again head import and import as editor poly do not check import a single mesh skip it and now we go into alt q isolate and delete this one we're going to keep only the base that we have fiber mesh so let's go to modifier and add hair and fur okay so let's say that our fiber mesh is more complicated than it and let's go to tool and press recomb from from spline and just select our spline now if we isolate our hair and fur you can see that we almost have the length of the hair but we just need to reduce the random scale okay, let's reduce the root and this is the way that you can choose to add your hair and fur the other way is to let's hide this one is to go to directly on the spline and add hair and fur again we need to as you can see the hair count is set to the number of the spline even lower let's make it bigger we can make more counts and the way the render is to go to press 8 go to effect hair and fur and add m, m, uh, m prime 
Let's see how it will be. Okay, we can see that the hair and forehead is rendering. As you can see from my other video, I'm not that passionate about hair and fur from 3ds Max. I usually use Ornatrix because it's more easy to work with and I'm more it's way easier the way you can control the hair but I hope you find this useful I hope you this is only to show you how you can make very fast fiber mesh export it and import into this max I'm going to work on another more complicated tutorial and it's still a work in progress a lot of projects these days and you will see the way more com I'm not really sure if I'm going to apply hair and fur or, or not leaks. I will see I hope you enjoyed this video drop a like